going out to let all the ladies and the one gent out. We only have one rooster, so he's the the only gent that we have. But I'm gonna go let them out. And it's Friday. Yay! So excited. It's so gross out here. I don't even know if you can see. But like there is dew and it's muddy. We had two days ago we had some storms come through. And I think it dumped like three inches of rain. It was crazy. Plus, we're still wet just from the snow a couple months ago and my hat just came off. <laughs> I have to duck when I go in the silky pen because the netting that keeps the hawks out. So let's let these let's let these ladies and gents out. Good morning. Good morning. They're gonna need water, so I'll come back out here in a minute. But let's see if they laid any eggs. <gasps> Look, it's like Easter every time I open this and see an egg. It's from our Silky. She's been laying really consistently, which is really nice. All right. There's our garden. We're not gonna be able to get into there for, oh my gosh, probably a week. It is so muddy. I don't know if you can see, but right in there, it's not gonna focus, are onions. And they look really good. We're doing an experiment. We planted, whoa, you don't need to see me this close. We planted bulbs and the sprigs. And we're gonna see which ones do better. And the bulbs look really good, so that may be our answer. Hi, it's dark, I'm in the back. Good morning, ladies. There's no gents in this one. Ingenuity at its finest right there. That's what we help block the gate with so nobody will try to come in and get them. Good morning. There they are. Now, if you look under there, right there are eggs. They have decided that's where they want to start laying. And I'm not getting under there right now to get them. So I'll have to get those laid. I am, <laughs> there it is again. I forget to zoom back out. I'm actually on my way into town. On Fridays, I typically take Sarah to um, school she goes to a local co-op in our town because I we homeschool all three kids but she hasn't been feeling real well so I decided to keep her home today but I have to go up there because thankfully um, we're trying to get the boys in the co-op as well and there's a spot open for Reed right now so I have to go pay a registration fee for him and then we just hope that a spot opens up for Easton that's our hope We've been praying about it, fingers crossed. Um, so we'll see, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm gonna run into town, I'm gonna get that dropped off, and then Tobin and I have a date night tonight. And we have baseball tournament tomorrow, and baseball tournament from now until the, we have not just tournaments, but we have baseball until the middle of June. So luckily we love baseball. You wanna go first? Sure. So, <clears throat> um, we found out something about Reed that we weren't really expecting. This is just too hard. We'll just just roll the video. My name's Australian Cougar Fighter. I've been sitting on this front porch since I was born. Mom gave birth to me on that bed back there and left me. I've been a fighter ever since I'm young. I like catching chickens. I like catching pigs. Oh boy, do you think I like catching cougars? I eat those things for dinner. I just do a bunch of crazy stuff around here. Jump off my place. Get up! Get out of my bro 
Yeah, they're around here a lot. So, also like sit here drinking my whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> or might you wanna look at my crib? So this is my crib. I've been collecting these over the years. Feels so good in the morning. So, it's my bed. Pretty comfy. So, my toolbox. That's where I put all the knives to kill my cougars. This is my fire starters. I think this is great. I don't know what this is. Sorry about that, mate. It's gonna be such an emotional roller coaster. Sorry, mate, this is my sticks. In case rat king comes, just go. Rat king's dead. I also do this. Get some string, just wrap it. Um, this is my trash can. This is my bone. I eat on it every single night. <laughs> yeah, Mike, it's pretty good. Under here, just move that. Put the trash back there. Okay, we are ready to go on our expedition. We are going to hop on a four wheeler and we are going to ride and find an Australian cougar. There's a big old white tail deer. It's very mean. You gotta be careful around these things. Yeah, so Shannon couldn't even make it through the before the video and be serious. She oh, was gosh. laughing so much. Uh, so Reed and Easton shot that video completely. I mean, 100% by themselves. All I did was I put the the music at the end for them and then the credits at the end. Easton shot it. Reed acted. Obviously, he hasn't. He, he has uh, the disappointing news was he leads a double life as a as a cougar fighter. And um. We have laughed yes. more times watching that video. Yes, I bet we watched it probably 20 times yes. over the last week we or two. Laughed. So we were looking for a video to put it in, and so we figured we would uh, act like it was a big deal or like we were all upset about it. But it's really funny. We've been laughing. We're proud of the boys. They uh, they did that all by themselves. And um, if you guys like it, let us know. I'm sure that they would be love to make a, a another Sequel. one for y'all. Yeah. So. And share it. I think if they knew that a lot of people were watching it, yeah. it would solidify. Yeah. So they enjoyed making it. Like I said, we we've been laughing all you know all week about it. So we want to put it in a video and show y'all. So there it is. So. Hope you guys enjoy it. Yep. I hope you guys laugh at them as much as we do. Maybe yeah. they don't think they're as funny as we do. I think they do. There's a lot of people that comment on how much they love the boys. So Reed uh, is crazy. He's our big personality. He always is doing silly stuff like that. Yes, so it's fun the that they got it on video. Yes, and like I said, I just I'm happy that it's they did it all by themselves. They just last weekend um, they said, Dad, can we borrow your camera to make a video? 
and they grabbed it went outside and we didn't and then reed came back in and i opened up my laptop and opened the software for him and he edited it and we really didn't even know what they did or what they were doing or anything until after he had edited it and showed it to us so but we're going to take you guys with us today uh it's sunday we had a baseball tournament yesterday we're gonna get some errands done one of our recent videos we i made a like a montage little clips of uh, a breakfast I made. I had a few people ask uh, how we made it or like the recipe. So I actually got off of Facebook, but we're gonna make, we're gonna show you all that real quick and then just take y'all with us oh, today. You should have just kept it for yourself. You've been like, oh, I totally made that up. <laughs> no, I wouldn't take credit for it. It's, it's, a, it's a really good, really healthy meal and we're gonna take y'all inside and show y'all how to make it. <laughs> all right, y'all, here's what you're gonna need for the breakfast. A couple cast iron skillets, milk, cheese, potatoes. We prefer to use the shredded frozen mashed or sh shredded potatoes. Shredded frozen potatoes, but we don't have any, so we're gonna use a real thing. Flour for the gravy, sausage for the gravy, then onions. You can do peppers as well, like bell peppers. So jalapenos, some oil. Season salt. If you watched any of our videos where we cook, we put this on everything, and then some eggs. So, oh, and some coffee, black rifle preferably. All right. While Shannon's cutting the potatoes, I'm gonna brown half of the package of sausage in a cast iron skillet. Add the potatoes. Grease isn't as hot as I thought it was, but it needs to be hot. Show dad what you're building. That's the same brand as the one I bought. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to figure that out too. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this and maybe like you can look at that. instructions too. Alright guys, so I got the sausage browned and I'm letting it sit there. I'll heat it back up. Maybe add a little grease to it and then make the gravy at the end. That way the gravy's hot. Um, just browning the potatoes right now. Just keep flipping them. We got the onions in there, some seasoning. Also add a little oil in, in there as well. Uh, the, the cooking spray just wasn't quite enough. So we keep doing that. And then uh, once we get the, the potatoes browned, then we'll go to the next step. Does that say 14? Yep, that says 14. Then it would be, yeah, then it's right. I mean, hmm. here, let's do this. Maybe it's this. Wait, but 15's on there. Well, let's see. Okay. 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 All right, guys, as you can tell, I put the jalapenos in there. I didn't put a whole lot. I put them mostly on one side because uh, Reed doesn't want them. Um, the cheese, in the past, I've put a lot of cheese in at this point, and it, it melts down, and it puts a ton of grease in the bottom of the pan, too much grease. So at this point, I just put a little bit of cheese, and at the end, if you want more, you can put it on the top at the end of it. So um, now we're going to make the gravy, and we're going to add the eggs into it. So, let me show you how we do that. That's really cool. I like those a lot. Oh, Alright y'all, so make little cups for the eggs, like little pockets for them. Like, kind of like little low spots, I guess. Thank you. 
because I guarantee you there's stuff in there that you don't want. Like good? Mm -hmm. I think so. It's okay. Um, I just I used the whole thing quite right around. Did you already put cheese on it? I put a little bit, but like okay. I told in the video, you can put more after you want to. Yeah. That's that one right there has a ton of probably most of the house. Then I'm making on. your breakfast. Okay. Do you want the two of them? Uh, no, just that one. Because I don't want. And to give yourself more heartburn, you're going to what? Put some hot sauce on there. You're the only three that'll eat that too. Is your metabolism still going from last night? Are you starving? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's uh, Reed's day after a baseball tournament hair. <laughs> Tell him what happened. We won't. Say it, please. You I think I get the ring. Go get it. I'm sure they'd love to see it. It's not in my bed. Tournament finalist. Pretty sweet little yep. ring, huh? How <laughs> yeah. many? Tell them what. Oh, yeah. They got that. Tell them what? Yeah. Tell them what happened. I mean, like, give them a, like a 30 second recap of the game. So we got there early. And we woke up 6 30 here at the house. We drove about an hour to Fort Worth to go play. And we got there. First game, we lost. Which was the person that got into the final list or got into the championship? And then we played another game. We beat them. Mm -hmm. Another game, beat the same team again, and we went to the championships. Um, we still won second place. Yes, and y that team was a really good team, and y'all only lost by one run. Yeah, one. Yeah. And we were ahead the almost the whole time. Yeah. Until kid hit a flipping ball <laughs> out into outfield. Let's look cool. By far, this is my favorite breakfast that he makes. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Easton finished his dinosaur. Mm -hmm. It's, um, his name's Ted. I meant Fred. Fred? Or the Fred of the Ted of the Fred. His name. Fred the T-Rex? Yes. Looks great. And um, his arms, it's, so let me show you the box. Come on. The box. Look, if y'all want to know, I think breakfast was a hit. Yeah. Did you box? like it? Oh, okay. Hey, you can go off the back. You can make it so smooth. Yeah. You can't, it's impossible. <laughs> but, I mean, right. as smooth as I can. So, and you did a great job. Mm -hmm. So got some clay. Yep. Looks fantastic. I like it. Uh, <laughs> and welcome Fred the T-Rex. <laughs> um, so we recycled the taxidermy tubs and we put um, straw in them. And I wanted to show you that it's working. I got two little blooms of potatoes right there. So I guess, I guess I'm doing something right. I do have one question for you guys. This pot right here, we added dirt in it. We picked up an ant pile. I don't know if you can see. It is, let me see if I can get them moving. This entire pot is full of ants. And you can see, I have something sprouting right there. So, I don't want to put chemicals in there or any kind of ant poison. I, the, there is a ton of ants in there. So what guy, What do you guys suggest on getting ants out of a raised bed, I guess, um, without hurting the plants or anything? This look pretty good. They all look like they're looking better. I guess the molting, 
We need more chickens. Oh, this is sad. We don't have that. This is our bravest one right there. She'll come up to you anytime. Well guys, Squishy is happy with his new run. You can see him back there. Ever since we opened it up, he's been back on that other new part. It's kind of, kind of hard to tell from this, from here, but you can see that the fence down there, and it, this at least doubled the space that he has, maybe even more than that. Not quite tripled it, but at least a little bit more than doubled it. Tripled it, or doubled a half. Double and a half? Yeah. So he's got quite a bit more room to move. He's he's not, that sow that we had was, wanted to be moving all the time. He's pretty lazy. Our next, one of our next projects is this little lean-to. We took the closer side off, because it's not supposed to be as cold uh, from now on. So, and we're gonna build him a little three-sided lean-to, a little more, something a little bit more permanent here in the next few weeks. That that project right there was kind of a rush before the snow. Oh, the yeah, the, the that one, yeah. We came out here before that big storm. We're probably gonna make it like maybe in that corner back there, maybe just right there. But we're gonna make him a really nice lean-to that will probably be good enough for the next 
two or three pigs. So. Yep. One that will yep. last. Because he's already got a date for in July. Go to the processor. How? How? Poking me in the eye. Look how Skylar is very interested in what we're doing with the chicken. Here, you said set her down, see what Skylar does. Guys, we hope you liked the video that Reed and Easton made of the Cougar Hunter, Cougar Fighter. Hold on. <laughs> well, the you Australian Cougar Fighter. <laughs> Wait, you put put it on here? Yeah, it's it's. They've That's already watched it. Is. Yeah, they watched it in the beginning. Me and mom, me and mom, kind of tricked him when we acted all sad, like we were sad about something with Reed, and then he, then we, Revol it was a Revol joke, and we told him that he was he was living a double life. And then we showed him the video. What? Guys, You'll thank y'all so hold much for. Up. Hold up, mister. We're going to have more Australian Cougar Fight episodes coming soon. <laughs> y'all be ready for Co it. Comment below if you want to see more. No, <laughs> you will see more. <laughs> Guys, thank y'all so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. I'm doing Easton's part. So, uh, can I do it? Check out our social media, Facebook, Instagram, links in the description. Easton, take it out. The merch, what about the merch? So, uh, we don't have merch. Yeah. I, got a hat, I got a hat, but I don't, we, don't, we don't sell them. Comment down below. Hey, you're look, look at the screen, there you Comment go. Comment down below if y'all are, um, if y'all have done it. Australian Cougar Fata. Um, <laughs> Australian Cougar Fata. And make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, hit the notification bell, and we'll see y'all in the next video. See y'all again.